By trade, I'm an upholsterer. I've got a family business which I help run with my mom and stepdad. We are three generations and 46 years we've been running. And it's kind of weird because it's like by day, I'm sitting there sewing quilts together and stuff. And then by night, I'm wearing leggings and skating around in a circle. I went to my first derby game just over three years ago, I think it was. Um, this girl that I was dating, known as Calamity James, she played it and she was telling me all about it. So I thought, I'll go along to a game and see what it's all about. I took my daughter, and at the time my daughter didn't think girls could do sports. And it was kind of an eye-opener for her, just as much as it was for me, and I thought it was pretty cool. I had been doing roller derby uh, probably about four years at that point, I think. And I was nursing a really bad injury that was kind of recurring. It wouldn't quite heal and I would get back on skates too soon and I'd keep hurting myself. And this kind of went on for about a year. And then I was like, I really need to come get this sorted. And I had an operation. And I, I think at that point I had a little bit of derby fatigue as well. And I was like, I just need a break from the game. And in that time, we started Fresh Meat, which is like kind of the training program for it. And Aaron, up until this point, had all had kind of, you know, maybe put it to me, oh, how would you feel if I started skating? I was like, no, absolutely not. That is my thing. You are not getting involved. But he caught me in a weak moment when I was out from my operation and was kind of like, nope, that's it, never skating again. I'm sick of it. Yeah, you can join in, you can do what you like. So we went along and tried it and I couldn't skate for shit. And then, Three months later, I'd passed my men's and yeah, I'm, I'm still skating now to this day. <laughs> Kerry came back as well and um, causes a few arguments in the household about who's better at skating or who does this well and who doesn't do that well. We cannot have a conversation about Derby strategy without getting into an argument. The other one always knows best. I've been skating on the A team for seven years and I'm head coach. Yeah, we are definitely, definitely competitive. It was disgusting how uh, how quickly a skating came on, but that's definitely something that the girls lack, I think, compared to the guys, is that fearlessness and like how quick they pick things up it tends to take the girls a little bit longer. When Tyne and Fear started, you know, when a couple of the guys had kind of got together and said, you know, being happy to be refereeing you and being your non-skates officials, but you know, we want a piece of the action. And we were absolutely like behind them 100%. I know that there has been other quite prominent female derby skaters who have, they've, they've been quite vocal about, you know, it was a female sport, female revolution, and really they kind of don't want the guys to have any part of that. But at NRG, that's definitely not how we think. This is a touchy subject and a lot of people in the Derby community won't share their opinion on it. It's one of these where no matter what you are or who you are, you're accepted in the world of Derby. It's really important to us that skaters aren't excluded and it doesn't matter what background you've come from, you know, it's really important for us that everybody's equal. If people are going to be saying everybody's accepted into this amazing sport, but it's only a girl's sport, then it's a bit of a contradiction. The other side of it is, I think because of guys playing it as well, it, it's meant it's introduced another audience into it and it's made the sport grow. Tyne and Fear was one of the first men's team in the UK. 
So they were kind of one of the pioneers, I guess, of Geyser or the Derby. Because of guys are interested in it, guys are, are putting their time into it just as much as the female athletes do. It's developed the sport a lot more. We've always been quite close to them. We kind of see them as like our big brothers. Um, so, you know, we do what we can to help them out. So there definitely wasn't any resistance from RJ. We were sort of very, very, very supportive and, you know, kind of did what we could to make it happen. Which is truly what we should be doing. We should be working together and making it become something really big and special. Quite often the bench staff will cross over, so the, the belters and the hinnies, so the A and B team for the girls, their bench coach is Dark Matter, who skates for Tyne and Fear, and then the girls will be their lineup manager, so we always help each other out. The Roller Derby is definitely a community. Everybody's kind of there for each other. It is literally the friendliest sport ever. Hello. Although we're beating the crap out of each other on the track, off the track, we're all best friends. I couldn't pay any of my real life friends, as I call them, to go to Roller Derby. You were like the, old, the weirdo in your own group of friends, and like you came to Roller Derby and then you were with fellow weirdos. <laughs> it looks like you, Sai. Like my future. Just younger. No, future, you mean like... How are you going to suddenly grow hair? <laughs> <laughs> I meant just the no. silly comment. He's going to buy a wig. Yeah. You might just yeah. buy a wig. Aaron, hold on. You're not far away from... Uh, Oh, I've got more oh, hair on my chin, yeah. chin, chin. He's got power. <laughs> I've got really hairy balls on. <laughs> I always think Derby is full of enthusiastic people and because there's so many of them in there, you get shit done. Some of the stuff I've done, I would never have thought I would ever be doing. Like going to New York, doing an American tour. I've met people from Derby that I never ever thought I would meet or get on with and I've met friends for life from it. It definitely is more than just a sport. It's just a good community to be in. But we're athletes so we can't just go and get drunk all the time. We do go and get drunk all the time. I don't even know how to play the sport myself. Um, personally, I just like to wear leggings and skate around in a circle. No, can we cut that out, please? <laughs> Cause he was a roller boy, he said see you later boys. <laughs> <laughs>